What is a semantic network? Quite often, when talking about the SAP UX Explorer, we say that it is based on a semantic network. In many cases, however, people don't really know what this means, what benefits it brings, or how this affects the UX Explorer in its usage. Let's look into this in more detail then, starting with a situation that requires a smart solution. Take SAP Fiori as an example. If asked me what SAP Fiori is, I would probably summarize that it is the new user experience of SAP software that comes with new design guidelines and new applications that are built on modern UI technologies. I could probably tell you more about its features, benefits, technical requirements and available learnings. Now the interesting part starts. If I told you that SAP Fiori supports the role-based concept, you might wonder what this is. It's just another topic that is somehow related to SAP Fiori, but to others too, like SAP NetWeaver Business Client, which supports the role-based concept as well. Let's get back to SAP Fiori. You might ask what technology is used for SAP Fiori. The answer to this is SAP UI5. But I would also tell you that you might need an UI add-on, SAP NetWeaver Gateway or other components. It's obvious each of these topics might have its own features, benefits and other attributes, plus they are also connected to other topics, as there are more technologies available, like UI clients, frameworks and tools. All of a sudden, it becomes clear what the situation and issue is. There is a certain complexity in the things you need to know before you can start deciding on them or even using them. Of course, this is not a specific issue in the SAP space. You will encounter complex things to learn everywhere, and there is a great deal of similarity between a semantic network and the way humans think. If you learn, you often start learning somewhere and expand your knowledge by getting to know more components, which you then connect to your existing knowledge. If we now just review the picture in front of us, there is another interesting aspect to mention. What would be your answer if I asked where would you start learning now? Would it be at SAP Fiori or SAP UI5 or the role-based concept? Maybe you have an idea where to start. Maybe you would say it depends. And yes, it really does depend on your interests, existing knowledge, or the goals that you have set yourself. Other than in the usual tree structure, where you need to read and understand the whole tree first in order to grasp some of the relationships between topics, the semantic network can provide you with this insight immediately, based on your starting point. In the case of the SAP UX Explorer, each topic comes with an Explore Relation section that guides you to other related topics for further exploration. To find your initial starting point in the semantic network, SAP UX Explorer offers the search function as the main entry point. Here you can find and start with what you already know, what you have heard about already, or what you are interested in right now. In case you need some inspiration, we also offer the watch video, get answers and browse topics as additional ways to find your starting point. Now it's up to you. Expand your knowledge by exploring the network. If you like this video, let us know and leave a comment. If you are searching for more videos, go to sap.com slash UX Explorer.